you see, big boy? Huh? You got a big schnout? Hey everybody, Kyle here with Spicer Designs. Come on, you gotta push it! <laughs> push it! Squeeze those glutes! Oh. Squeeze them! Want those things tightened up? <laughs> That's right, I dabble in personal training. Morning snack. Welcome back to the channel. Damn it. All right, today I have a special guest coming to the shop. We'll see who that is in a little bit. I have a couple things to do first to get prepared, and I have some updates on the shop that I wanna show you. So typically when you watch our videos, this is the area that I'm typically filming in the most. I have my table set up here, all my fabrication work. We got the Langmere Crossfire Pro, CNC plasma table, links in the description. But what I don't show you a lot of is the other half of the shop. So here is the other half of the shop, which you have seen. I've done some cleaning and some rearranging and some organizing and I started to film it and I lost all the footage. I deleted it. It was gonna be kind of a boring video anyway. So this is probably better that it happened this way. So over in the corner, I've got my laser engraving station. It's set up a little bit better now so where I can come over here and just shoot videos. I don't have to rearrange a bunch of stuff. And I decided to keep the Monport 100 watt CO2 laser. So I have that all set up permanently now. And then I have the X-Tool P2, the X-Tool P1. I've got the X-Tool air purifiers, which I love those things. And I have the newest X-Tool F1 Ultra. And I have a couple of projects here to do for another YouTube channel, which we'll be doing that hopefully this weekend. It's been 64 days. Some more giveaway tumblers, all kinds of good stuff. And then I've got my new Evolution saw, which I'll also have links for in the description, along with all the X-Tool lasers and Monport. And it's sitting on what's going to be the ultimate welding cart, which I've already started on. I got all of my metal as organized as it can be. I will be building a material cart for all of my steel sheets and scrap metal. And then over here I have the tabletop for the vertical splitter build that I'll be doing hopefully this fall. And then I have the picnic table kits for Steve from Build Life, ready to be picked up. I want this crap out of my shop. I mean, he's really getting on my last nerve. And we have the 60 watt Monport CO2 laser with the chiller and the rotary tool. This is all for sale right now. If you are interested and you're somewhere in the Southern Indiana area, email me at Spicer Designs, LLC at gmail.com and we could talk numbers. So that is it. It took me about two days to completely reorganize everything, get the shop all cleaned up. I resituated a lot of things and I feel so much better about the shop now. It was driving me nuts. I just don't have the time right now to really put into the shop that I want to. So that little bit of a refresh is huge. Piece of crap. Now before my special guest gets here, I want to assemble this workbench that I purchased from Home Depot, which turned out to be an absolute piece of shit. Apparently it got damaged in shipping. They were aware of that. They let me know. I went to the store and looked at it and it didn't look that bad. But once I got it home, I realized it's looking like this thing might've fell off the truck during transportation. But I want to get this thing assembled. This is going to replace this fold-up party table so that these two lasers can sit on it. It'll be a much cleaner setup. I originally wanted to build the ultimate laser cart, but I just don't have time right now, so this is going to have to work. Okay, first impressions. This thing cost $800, that was with tax, from Home Depot. I used to see these on display in the store, and I always thought they kind of looked cool. The angle iron on them, I bet that's 14 gauge, it's not very industrial. It's got a nice butcher block top on it. The drawers kind of suck, the drawer slides suck. It's got heavy duty casters. It's actually got some zerks on them. But I had missing parts. I didn't get the drawer liners, like it shows in the manual. Obviously it had something to do with the thing probably falling off the truck. But anyways, I want to get this stuff transitioned over to this. Time to blow out the old sphincter again. I thought I decided that this one was going to be set up just the way it is, right? Or was that going to be over there? I think this needs to be over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oops. Oh, damn it. 
Yeah. And this table, it's gonna be tight. I literally have just enough. Damn it. Just enough room. Okay, now for the fun one. <laughs> okay, I got a plan for this one. The old adjustable table. I think it will go that low. I do love this table. I always leave links for this bad boy in the description. It's not the exact one, but it's probably made by the same company. Oh wow, just bottomed out right there. This is a heavy son bitch. Now we're gonna crank her back up. Get this thing the hell out of the way. What the hell? Bingo. Ah, oh, damn it, I put it on backwards, idiot. system. This thing is wobbly as f What the hell is going on? Huh. Well, the air purifier, I'd like to eventually set it up where I have a T and both of these go in to one air purifier until I get my ventilation set up. And then if I'm using one or the other, I can use this. We'll see. We'll see. I'll have to figure that part out. Who the hell is this guy? Freaking trespasser. How you doing? I'm doing nice well. Nice to meet you. Yeah. All right, you want to come in here? Mike's a little jacked up, so you have to talk like kind of high pitch. You going to hold it or you going to meet him? Well, you got, oh, you got no. two of them. Yeah. So you just have to talk like high pitch. <laughs> and then when it when I play it back, it'll be normal. It'll be <laughs> yeah. I feel like you're with me. <laughs> 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 All right, so I'm here with Steve from Build Life. He finally came here to pick up his shit. I've been holding on to this for, I don't know how long, a good four or five months maybe? Yeah, I'd like to blame it on knee surgery, but I feel like they'd already been there no like four months before that happened, No excuses. So. so Steve already squared up with me right away, but there is going to be a, a storage fee, so. <laughs> sure, fair enough. It's going to be expensive. These are way beefier than I thought. Oh, they're freaking beefy, man. I almost had... I thought the camera adds 10 pounds. The word beefy cut into them. Yeah, it's quarter inch plate. I mean, it, it's. I'll get the tractor. We'll load it up with the pallet, but you're awesome. Am I gonna regret this? Don't blow out your new knee. Yeah, and then oh yeah, they're kind. Oh, they're kind of. It's like no, that's dust. good. I might leave them outside. I kind of like them rusty. Yeah, the old rusty trombone cabin we're putting them in. The first one here is called the Tin Cantina. Yeah. So everything is rusty metal. This would be perfect. What was it? Oh, that's shutting off. Okay. Yeah, and then you get your pre bent. Uh, gussets here and then everything all everything's pre-drilled so you so just those will go like from here yep up to the table yep exactly and i don't ooh, there's nope. <laughs> you're right i got lots of fingers uh, set up for two by 12s two by tens two by tens yeah i think the two by ten especially on where we're putting on this cabin the deck's kind of small I mean, I don't care what you do with them i just want them the hell out of my shop <laughs> <laughs> they're about to become boat anchors <laughs> So Steve has a channel, Steve's Build Life. It's a really good channel. I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff on it. Thanks. And you bought that property out in Kentucky and you built some cabins on it that you're gonna rent out for Airbnbs and you're already, you're already doing that now. You yeah, have we have, we're working on a third cabin now and we have the first two are renting on Airbnb. Yeah. When we first started, you know, we were just like camping out at the entrance of the property. Yeah. And so then we got the first cabin down. We had a nice place to stay. And uh, the lady that helps me take care of it, Erica's her name, she says, I oh, got to get these up on rent. You know, they're ready. Just quit overthinking it. Yeah. So I put them on there and it's worked out really well. But now when we want to go work on one, I have to like try and block off a spot in the yeah. middle for us to get a place to stay. But yeah. So Steve's kind of documenting that whole process of building up this property. And it's pretty interesting. And then you have the other channel up in smoke where you do mm -hmm. a lot of firewood stuff. So all my viewers from hometown acres, if you haven't seen up in smoke, definitely go check that out. And I'll leave links for both channels. And I think you even have a third channel too, right? 
with the Overland Channel. We don't yeah. do too much with the Overland. It was kind of a place to park some of the content that yeah, needed, yeah. needed some housing, but uh, there's some good stuff on there too. But I'll leave links for all that stuff in the description. All right, and Steve brought a couple of blanks here. Steve also has a sawmill. Did you did you make these on the sawmill? I don't know where that piece came from. I just found it in the corner of my shop. I think oh, it's okay. a piece of cherry, but yes. Home Depot? <laughs> probably, I don't think it came from Home Depot, but somewhere from some project. So he's got a couple of blanks that he brought here that we're going to do some engraving on for some signs for the cabins, right? Mm -hmm. We're also gonna do a custom engraving on one of these blanks that we're gonna give away, or actually that Steve's gonna give away on his channel, and you were gonna do that. When do you think you would do that? I think we could do it with this next one that comes out. So I'm gonna get the design set up and the laser. We'll get that engraving and uh, take a look at it. It should be pretty cool. Show me how this stuff works. This yeah. is way above my pay grade. But first, I wanna get this out of the shop. The do wheelies now, and new batteries in it. All these old school lights everywhere with their own switches. And it's the new girl. Yep, pretty nice machine, huh? Machine. Do you wax this thing? I, I did just do the first service on it. I freaking like detailed everything. Nice. Yes, yeah, I did. It's got it's got quick detailer on it. All right, Steve had to leave. He had to get back on the road. He's got a five hour drive back home. He lives up in Northern Illinois. I think he's more Northwestern Illinois. Definitely check out his channel. He's got a really nice place, really nice property, and he's got a pretty cool shop. But most of the stuff that he's doing is on his cabins in Kentucky. He did a really cool build recently where he built the entire cabin in his shop, took it all apart, hauled it to Kentucky, and then reassembled it. And that is the one that they're currently working on. So. Pretty interesting stuff. So I am working on the design for these pieces of cherry hardwood. I have a design here, but I had to do an update on Xtool Creative Space, the software I use with these Xtool lasers. And there's some really cool new features that makes this even easier than it already was. And I wanna show you real quick. So right here, we're inside of Creative Space and I'm trying to figure out what power and speed to engrave on this hardwood cherry. And you can see right here, they actually have a library of all different kinds of materials and there's predetermined settings for all of them, which is really convenient. So I just picked basswood plywood because since I'm engraving on a wood surface, whether it's plywood, really doesn't matter the thickness because I'm not cutting it. So I just need a number that I kind of start off with. But what's cool is they have a picture here. You can click on it and it gives you a sample grid with different speed settings and power settings, which I've made these before on the channel. They're really nice to have for certain materials with certain lasers, definitely speeds up the process. And if you like the way that the engraving looks, you can click on it. And if you watch right here, the settings will change automatically for you. It really, it doesn't get any easier than that. And you could probably still go in here and fine tune them if you want, which you can. So that's a really, cool new feature that I have not seen yet on Xtool Creative Space. It's actually been a while since I did any engraving. So a lot of you may already know of this update. I'm gonna go with, with this one right here. 200 millimeters per second at 80%. We'll see how that does on this cherry. And then we'll just click out of here. That is for engraving. And you can see here the logo that we're gonna do. Anyways, I'm gonna mess around with this design a little bit, see what Steve likes, and then we'll get this thing engraved on the Xtool S1 with the 20 watt diode laser attachment. This is by far my favorite laser. I freaking love this thing. It's like my go-to because it's super easy to position your material in there. So we'll just skip through the BS and get right to the engraving so we can check out the finished product. And then we can start on the giveaway piece here. It's gonna be pretty cool.
All right, here is the first one, and it turned out pretty awesome. And I'll tell you what, that cherry, which I think that's what this is, that engraves really nice. It almost looks like a walnut inside of there. So I'm gonna make three of these identical, and then that last one will be the giveaway. But that is crisp. And the edges are supposed to be jagged like that. That's part of his design. All right, we'll get another one set up here. It took about, I think that was like 25 minutes to do that engraving. I really like the way that turned out, so we're sticking with it. I'll use my two-point positioning to get another one set up and be ready to go. The moment we've all been waiting for, the giveaway board. I don't know what it is. Wow. That looks cool. There's only one little spot where there was a knot and got real dark, but that's okay. Yeah, this thing, this thing turned out pretty clean. So now for the finishing touch, I'm going to Sign this. Not that that has any value to it whatsoever. Okay, I only have one shot at this. I'm gonna try on the back side. I'm just gonna write machine. Machine. There we go, baby. There we go. Now I'm gonna ship this sucker to Steve. He'll give the old John Hancock. I'd honestly like to keep this for myself. I think I might have him send me a couple chunks of freaking wood. That's pretty damn cool. Now, if you want a chance to win this collaboration sign here, made out of mahogany, I'm still not sure exactly what the hell it is. I think it is cherry. Here's what you gotta do. Steve's channel, Build Life, is posting a video today at the same time. I will leave a link for that video pinned in the comments. So click that link, which will take you to that video. And all you have to do is comment machine. 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 And then you'll be entered to win this sucker right here. Really pretty easy. Anyways, that's all I got. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Not bad. Oh, f I forgot to sign this thing. Shirt sure is freaking tight. Nipples are just blowing out of this thing. Hey, my wife calls him. When you're making feral noises out in the shop, I don't think that he cares too much. <laughs> <laughs> that was a hell of a burnout. A NASCAR. It's about as close as you're gonna get to a NASCAR. Yee. Think I can't have that music in these videos? They'll frickin' sue us and take our home. <laughs> she actually was done with her workout and I made her get back on <laughs> so I, I could film that little scene. <laughs> You're welcome. Don't mind if I do. Cheers. Cheers.